Happy Saturday. Welcome to the weekend. And as we find ourselves now just two days away from the beginning of 50 days, it is indeed a privilege again to uh, to be here with you. Very excited about the possibilities that God will unfold in your life and uh, really just filled with a lot of gratitude this morning about the privilege that we have together as a parish family to walk together in such a sacred experience. Yesterday, I talked about the importance of having somebody to walk with us, right? Even on my 30 day, I'm going to be in spiritual direction once a day. And as I entrust my heart to my spiritual director, Trudy McCaffrey, I'm going to have somebody walking with me and you're going to need somebody walking with you. And that was your homework yesterday to talk about, to think about, to pray about who might you have walking with you during the 50 days. And as I mentioned that yesterday, I said that today on Saturday, I'd coach you a little bit about what you're talking about. So let's uh, let's go there. What are you talking about whenever you were with somebody um, in your 50 days? Well, the first thing you're talking about is just how are you doing uh, humanly in the rhythm, you might say. Are, are you praying? Are, are you showing up to pray? Um, and what's happening there, you might say, in uh, the, the structural things? Um, is it quiet enough for you? Are you, are you distracted there? Um, if you didn't pray on a certain day, well, then why didn't you? What, what led to the interruption in the rhythm? And if you do that, if you are able to talk to people about the, just the structural things, the practical things, and if you do that immediately, then we're more apt to stay consistent. In other words, I always tell people that um, in, in something like a 50-day experience, you're probably going to, within the first 10 days, experience some difficulty in keeping the rhythm. Well, if the first time you experience a difficulty, you miss prayer, the first time you do that, if you checked in with somebody and unpacked with them what happened, then you're more apt to be successful the next time that, quote unquote, that thing happens. So if we are consistent on the front end, really, then that's going to help us be consistent on the back end. So I can't encourage you enough to, as you find somebody to talk to, make sure that you're you're bringing to them the difficulties, especially within the first uh, half of 50 days immediately so that you're able to experience some, some support there. Not only are you talking about are you praying, when you're praying, what's that like, but you're in, in some way, uh, I think just sharing confidentially and safely, maybe what are some of the general themes that are there. You don't have to go into all the details. Those details might be personally for you, but Hey, if it's, um, you know, I think that, you know, over the last couple of days, God's just asking me to trust or over the last couple of days, God's just asking me to, to be patient, whatever the Lord is saying to you, then maybe just share some of the themes that are there. Uh, so that way somebody else is listening to you and reflecting back to you uh, some of the things that they hear as they listen to you. You want to be able to talk about the outside and the inside, and that's what you're sharing with people who are walking with you. The most important thing is just accountability. Are you praying? Are you staying consistent? And if not, why not? It's not uh, about keeping score, and it's not about trying to you know, impress anybody. It's just about making sure that you've got somebody loving you and accountability. Tomorrow, Sunday, will be our final tune-up to 50 days. Looking forward to being with you on the Sabbath. Very much looking forward to celebrating 50 days with you. God bless you.